Okay, uh, Wade Eck here with uh, Leodo Machida. Uh, Leodo, uh, last time you faced Dan Henderson, it was uh, back at UFC 157 uh, in 2013. You won by split decision. I'm just wondering, what do you remember of that fight, and how do you think this one might go differently? Oh, that fight was was very close, but <clears throat> I, I I think that I won that fight, and we're gonna face each other again. So we're. We are more, more old, but at the same time, we know each other more because now we can study our last fight. And I think we're going to put a great show for this fight. Where do you see Dan as being the most dangerous? Is it simply his punching power? Dan, Dan he's a, a very tough opponent. He's good. He has a good defense, takedown defense. He's good and stand. He has a heavy right hand very very heavy but I cannot say that he is well-rounded fight but at the same time he's a tough opponent he knows how to defend on the ground he knows how to use his his wrestler his wrestling and also he's very dangerous and standing after you beat CB Dalloway, uh, you uh, fought uh, Luke Rockhold and Yoel Romero. Um, those last two fights were pretty close together. Um, unfortunately, they didn't go your way. Uh, you, you've taken some time off. Uh, did you feel that you needed a break? I mean, over the last 10 months, have you, uh, have you done that to kind of relax or just improve things? Or what did, it, what did you get out of that? What I've been doing is to, to fix all the things that I need to, to fix. So I improve a lot my, my ground game and I started to, to do some different things like my strength condition, my, my conditional, and I put more fo focus in my conditional too. <clears throat> but <clears throat> at the same time, in training without a pressure, it's sometimes much more, you can improve much more than when you have some fight coming up. Right. Um, quite recently, um, UL's uh, USADA uh, punishment was um, reduced to a six-month uh, sentence. Uh, were you surprised by this? Uh, frustrated? Uh, did you have any feelings at all? Can you repeat? Sorry. Um, UL's punishment for uh, um, having that, uh, tested for a banned substance, his punishment was reduced to six months. Uh, how do you feel about this? Uh, <clears throat> it's, very, it's very hard to say something about uh, other other athletes but I think if you if you use something it's not allowed you have to you have to get some punishment so but I cannot judge I cannot say anything the commission is here for that that's not my that's not my job I respect all the commission all the decisions good and have you had any visits from USADA uh, for this fight yes uh, they they random show up at my home so 6 a.m. in the morning, it's usually, but I was very clean, man. Yeah, we hear from everyone and they seem to show up at 5 a.m., 6 a.m. Uh, it's got to be kind of uh, disturbing, I'm, I'm guessing. Yeah, maybe they, they, they show up too early because they, <laughs> they, they don't want you to run away from there. <laughs> but I'm sorry, man. Sorry. No worries. So, but... At the same time, maybe they wanna, they wanna, they wanna pick up something. They wanna pick something from 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 the morning, like some G8, something like that. But I was, I wasn't worrying about that. You know, a lot of people are comparing Stephen Wonderboy Thompson to you, saying perhaps he will be the next Leo de Machida because of his karate style and what he's doing for the sport. Um, do you have you followed his career? Or what, what do you think of um, of Wonderboy? I think Wonderboy, he's tough. He's good. He, he has a good distance. He has a good combination, and also he has a good time of fight. You know? He knows how to to hit the opponents without get hurt, without get hurt. So I think Wonder he's gonna be the, the next champion. I believe in one one seventy in that weight, weight weight, he's gonna be champion soon. You know, there's a big show coming up in Brazil. I'm just wondering if you're disappointed you're not on that card and, uh, you know, how you think Fabricio Anderson, Shogun, and, you know, maybe Chris uh, Cyborg might do. Hey, I think Brazilian, they, they have a dear upper hand because they're going to fight in Brazil. So they, they have the all crowd behind them. <clears throat> but at the same time, all of them uh, have a tough opponents. 
<coughs> so I believe Verdun, Verdun he's, a, he's so tough right now, man. He's so mature. So he can beat Milsic, but of course he has to he has to have a good camp for this fight. But he has him. He 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 having he having a good camp now. This camp, Messi, Rafael giving a lot of support. So I think he Verdun can can beat Milsic. Yes, and Anderson against Uriah Hall. I think Anderson has more experience. So, but. Fight is always a fight. Fight is a fight, man. You don't know what happened, but I think Enzo has more chance. When you're talking about Jacare and Vito Belfort, it's a very tough fight to judge because I think at the beginning of the fight, Vito has more chance because he's more explosive and he has a very hands, very heavy hands. So Jacare, he's it's kind of, it's kind of a, a different style. Man. He, he likes to grab more, he likes to go to the ground to, to smash their opponent, his opponent. And Shogun, Shogun, I don't know a, a lot about Anderson, his opponent, Shogun's opponent. Corey yes, Corey Anderson, yes. I don't know a lot about him, but I think Shogun has more experience, he has a big chance. It's going to be a great card for sure, I mean, I'm really looking forward to it. For sure, Greg, I, I, I like to be there, man. And now, how about uh, between uh, Rockhold and Weidman, uh, their rematch? Um, what do you think of the first fight, and uh, you know, what's your predictions for this upcoming fight? <clears throat> at the beginning, the first fight between Luke Rockhold and Weidman. At the beginning, I think Weidman was better. He was doing better job at that time. But suddenly, I don't, I don't know what happened. Maybe the wrong kick that he did, and, and Rockhold he took advantage about that and he could capitalize everything and finish the fight. But I think next fight, maybe it's gonna be, it's a very trick to say something, but I think Wyden can surprise. Fair enough, yeah, I mean, uh, Luke definitely took advantage of that uh, kick. Um, Khalil Roundtree, we've seen him down at Black House training with you, uh, Khalil Roundtree. Yes, he's uh, going to be on this season of The Ultimate Fighter, this upcoming season. Um, just curious, what are your thoughts about him? Have you actually sparred with him, trained with him? Yeah, Khalil, he's, I mean, he's tough. He's, he's very athletic. -y. He's very tough. He, he has a heavy hands, heavy kicks. So he's going to be... He's, he, has, he has a future. He has a future. Uh, just one last question. Uh, recently, you shared a photo of uh, Vince Vaughn and uh, Henry Gracie. Just curious, how good is Vince, and you know, when did he kind of join the fold? No, I just show up there after his training, so I just was there and talk a little bit with him. But he's such a nice guy, and we ended up with that picture. Uh, actually, well, I lied. One, one last question. Uh, so you're turning 38 next month. Um, how much longer can fans continue to enjoy watching you in the octagon? It depends. Depends of my body. Depends of my mind. I think more about my mind because sometimes you get tired. But I'm still will to fight. No, I still have a lot of will, and I want to keep fight because I love to train every day. I love to wake up and bring my stuff to the gym and training. So I think I can do. I can do more. A couple more years. Looking forward to it. Thank you, Leodo. Thank you, Mike.